in our video, uh, as you can plainly see, it's there's no game or anything. Um, I probably would have been streaming a long time ago. It's just the fact uh, I had a lot of stuff going on, and um, my Xbox Live ran out, so I don't know if I can stream. I don't really feel like going through the hassle at the moment. Um, or that. Um, I hope you all had a uh, great Christmas. I certainly did. I got to see my little brother I hadn't seen in a couple of years. And, well, there's times we get along, there's times we don't. But, well, you know, they have uh, older, younger siblings, you all know what that's about. Alright, uh, we got to see our grandmother, which was nice, real nice. Uh, don't get to see her that often, so... Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, no, 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 no. Everybody just complaining, bullshit. <laughs> Get over yourself. It's, for me, it's nice because um, I don't have that much family left. So, what little family I do get to see, other than my dad on a daily basis, uh, it's nice. Um,. Pretty much, uh, I would say, my brother kind of made, uh, made it like bandits. Uh, my grandma decided to get us. That's my burger crime. Oh, there goes my dad. Wonder about his puppy. What is this? Go away. Minimize you. And minimize you. I have gotten. One of new piece, uh, laptop PCs. Already with Windows 10 and all. Um, from what I understand, this sucker is expensive. My grandma got this for us. Um, we all don't have laptops and all. If y'all haven't noticed this by now, there is. I don't know if I can zoom in on that, but right up there, next to the USB, towards the edge, right here, you only notice one audio jack. So, if you are wanting to connect with people on Skype and stuff, or hell, uh, or fellow content creators like myself, uh, this pretty much kind of helps out. Uh, you don't need a headset like I'm using right now on my current desktop, which requires two jacks. One for audio that you hear in your headset, and one for the microphone that's right here. This pretty much, uh, if I can find the other headset I had. I had it moments ago, it's sitting on my bed. But um, I got in this black web headset from Walmart. It was designed to not only like connect to I guess PCs that are like this now and to what my current desktop is, which I'm recording this video from now from my webcam here. Um, it also could be pretty useful. I had an old game capture device which took like three chords. I can put audio through it. Uh, listen to the audio that I'm experiencing through whatever I have set up, plugged in, whatever. And also I can use it to capture my voice. Which was nice, is the only thing is it required external memory. Which it would only take up to 64 gigabytes. But then again, it was a cheap one. It, wor it works still, it's just I don't use it often. Uh, then uh, I mostly kind of used, uh, when I started streaming, just pretty much... Twitch stuff, and I would be on uh, like the desktop I'm recording from right now. Um, I would be pretty much just reading the comments from the web browser. So, on that, uh, besides this uh, excellent PC, which I'm very, very thankful for, because this is something I could not afford at all in my current state. You know, even if I made money, I'd, I'd more could more focused towards bills than anything. Uh, she got us one of these. Uh, they call the World Ball. They're an offshoot of something else. They're one of these ad seen on TV things. Uh, I don't know if I'm even getting reviewed on this, but I'd say my review for this sucker is pretty, pretty craptastic when it comes to one certain aspect. Everything else pretty much works fine, like say this. It works. It dot uh, IRF sensor right up here. Right up here, where my fing next to my finger, which detects anything nearby when it gets too uh, from the bottom. Um, I'm gonna turn it back on and let it roll up because it has a little safety feature to keep really from doing too much harm. 
So yeah, anything it collides with instead of like destroying the motor that's within here, which is mainly plastic. Um, it has a safety feature to shut off like you've seen. And then the lights that were glowing vigorously earlier, it just goes to this. Um, there's a charging port. Um, if you have one of those old RC... Uh, where is that? I know that cable's right here somewhere. I just felt it. Or I did feel it. Feel it. Uh, I have uh, technically two now. Uh, this one I've had uh, with my little RC helicopter that's somewhere in storage. Um, this is practically the same thing that came with uh, this, but this one, uh, the one that uh, came with this one, is uh, black corded uh, and shorter than this yellow one. Um, supposedly, this is what you use to practically hook in and charge, and it's supposed to be this little red light that lights up when you when it's charging. But the sad part is uh, the charging port for it, they made it a little too small. Uh, I've seen, I looked up for reviews because I was figuring, trying to figure out how I could fix this little issue because it was starting to irritate the hell out of me that my little brother got one too, so I was trying to figure out this so he could charge his as he drained all the power out of his. And I'm going to shut my off so I can serve what little battery power this thing has left because what I've been read up for this thing can run up for 8 to 10 minutes on full battery power before it dies. So I'm trying to keep up whatever battery power I have left. That and I don't feel like trying to chase it around my room. Um, but sad part is as I try to kind of jimmy with uh, the charger port, it broke off in here. So you can see that little, let's see, yeah, that hole in the bottom where you can see a little bit clarity through there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, right next to the power switch right there. My fingers kind of cover over. Let's see if I how close I can get this to the camera. I don't know if it's going to focus well. It's focusing on me. Yeah, you can see it a little bit clearer than then with all the inside the ball. The charger broke off in there. I used um, this little guy. This guy here, my dad got me a long time ago. Uh, just sit there, shave away around the the port, so it would fit. Because uh, this charger is about the same size as the other one, and it's practically the same damn thing. It just won't go in. It, it just stopped the point. So somewhere in here, the charger is... It didn't break off completely. It's still attached to some wiring there. Let's see. I, I can't really hear it with the headset on. It's still in there somewhere. As you could... Oop. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but that rattling means that's that's the charger port in there somewhere. Um, this neat little guy is called the Blackweb Light Bluetooth uh, Speaker. It's interesting on itself. Let's see. Um, I'm going to go to something here on... Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, I found it. <laughs> I might cut that little bit out where I was just looking for a moment away from the camera. Uh, let's play it now. Uh, I'm gonna have to plug it up because uh, oh, there with the mouse. Nice little charging cable. Almost looks somewhat similar to, uh, I guess, a very very short Microsoft uh, controller charger, sort of. And down here at the bottom of this is uh, where you can put an IO jack in it. You can press the reset if you want to, if it's having any problems, and your standard micro USB charging port. This, I think, is a great design on uh, Blackwood's part. Uh, it can set down, it keeps anything from getting into it. I think that's a great design. That, not only that, it comes with this. You can hook it to yourself and be on the go with your music. And all the sound is projected from where the uh, lights that are coming out of here. Right now, I'm going to plug it in because I think its battery power is practically dead because it keeps shutting off on me. Because uh, I kept it on all day using it to watch YouTube videos. Because uh, I was bored. And uses. I wasn't sure what I would be doing for videos today anyway. Oh, this is the charger I was talking about. Short little black ch uh, length charger. Same thickness as the end. Little ye yellow tip and all. It's just a lot shorter than my yellow one. It's just a little. I think the cord's just barely thicker. But now to onto this little there we go. Charging. Turn it on. Okay. Hi there. 
Power on. And you can see it has voice recognition. Uh, set Pairing. Okay. Your device is connected. It, it lets you know that stuff too. Uh, set of lights there, like standard. That. That. Um, I'm gonna play something. And there's no lights there, right? I guess you don't want lights going. That. Which I think is pretty neat. I like that one a little better. And the best part is, uh, I don't know if this is working on the YouTube library or not. As hard as it is. Well, what do you know? Did it pause? I didn't know that would work on the YouTube library. And also, uh, where you can set the volume itself and know, know how high the volume is. These blue lights. So, what I just did. Oops. A lot louder than it was before. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a little interesting right there that I liked about that little Bluetooth speaker. Um, what I got my, uh, myself that... Um, uh, Grandma gave me a hundred bucks to spend at uh, Jay-Z Penny's, which I bought myself and a brand new pair of shoes, uh, some nice leather gloves, and I need to find where the other pair went. Nice leather, large gloves, get your hand moderately warm and stuff, because uh, I plan to get myself a motorcycle, and and especially if it comes to the winter months, that will be very useful. That And, and then again, it would still be useful, but I probably plan uh, to get a different pair of gloves for when, during the summer and stuff, that way I don't sweat to death in my own, uh, my hands don't sweat so much. But this right here, uh, one of the VR headsets, they sell for phones and stuff, which I like this one better than uh, previous models, if I can find the other previous models uh, I've set around my room, which our stuff you in a lot of boxes. But you see them in like Walmart and stuff where they sell them for about 20 bucks. You pull something out to stick your phone in and slide back in. But the difficult part is this me uh, this medium right here. Where you have to align both ends of the screens when you put it in the VR mode where you were using to watch YouTube and stuff. It's pretty difficult. With this, I could just plop the phone, like, say, here. And with the two screens, I could just plop it right there. Line it with the two screens. Close it. And voila. But another added bonus to this. Instead of having a bunch of rinky, a uh, bunch of cables and stuff plugged in around it, it has this audio jack, which is very uh, convenient to stick back in once you're done using it for the uh, at the moment. And it currently sets in a little seam there, which keeps it secure, latch back up. And this little button's nice. So if you're not using, because uh, it comes with a Bluetooth headset, uh, uh, a controller of sorts. Like it's some, it almost looks like a bit of like a Wii controller, but smaller and stuff. Um, if you're not using that, this little button right here helps you not only like say if you're looking at a video and stuff, and you move away from it, trying to get comfortable, you just press this recenter, and only that it acts like an action button. Say you want to pause the video, you just look at the pause button as you click on the screen with the button, and then click again, because it transmits to that uh, audio jack there. So you can set the pause the video, change the volume, all that. I, I just figured this out to today because I finally got to mess with it for a bit. And retractable earbuds, which are nice on both ends. The headset mount is nice and comfortable, actually. And, of course, down here, of course, you want to set it to your eye length and everything, yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm wearing some nice clothing, too. My grandma got me this. A nice little undershirt. Which is thermal, which I'm going to love it for work because it's cold as balls in there. Um, I don't know what else to show you guys. Uh, I'm running out of ideas, sort of. Um, um, I, uh, I'll be right back in a second. Alright, um, I don't have the complete uh, kit, but uh, my dad got this. For me, uh, an axle kit comes with, uh, you know, most axle stuff comes with the shampoo, the body wash, and of course this.
But mine was a little added bonus, uh, which I kind of like because uh, I know a lot of y'all have uh, a bit of a still globe issue. My the uh, axe has now come out. What I, so far I've seen, uh, axe dander shampoo. So you can smell like you want to and have the uh, added benefits of keeping your dandruff under control, which I find is nice. Well, my dad got me the the Dark Temptation set, but one thing I thought was kind of cool. Say if I ever go traveling and stuff, I got myself a little travel spray kit, which I don't know what fragrance is. All it says, as you can see here, says you, which I don't get, which right now I'm actually going to test to see what it smells like. Then again, I might not find out because I haven't ch uh, tried out all the products. Mm, not sure, but I'll eventually find out. One day. <laughs> Uh, I'll throw that away. Um, so I got a nice pair of boots. Steel toes. Uh, they were on sale at, uh, at a JC Penney's uh, for about fifty one ninety nine. Um, normally these probably cost like over sixty bucks, maybe seventy, because uh, these things come with memory foam in them. They're oil resist, uh, oil resistant and stuff and other stuff. I didn't read the full details. I have to read them again to understand. Um, but uh, they're nice and comfortable for me. They're, it took me a good bit to find uh, even a pair of boots of my size because I got big feet. Um, got this nice little uh, Columbia wallet, which it's. I'll pull this out of here. This little. Let's see if I can get it to. Uh, security wallet. Uh, I'll have to read that. It's security wallet built in R uh, RFID shield. Protect your credit card from uh, data from RID th theft, which that does happen um, because in the day of this age of technology, if you want to ought to worry about your bank getting mobile information being stolen so easily and stuff, all it takes is a simple smartphone these days. Because all they have to do is just program a bunch of stuff, stick it on their phone, log by someone, something like this. Which uh, with a lot of Samsungs and stuff, uh, that smart uh, smart health stuff where you can read your polls and stuff, the camera, that's all like big factors because uh, that and a lot of uh, phones these days right up there, that little black spot up there, that's an RFI, RFI um, infrared signal, uh, signet, uh, I got much mouth. It's a little RFI transmitter. So I can t technically, from right here, I can turn my TV on because I have programmed that way. Which is actually kind of nice when I can't figure out where my uh, TV remote wanders off to. Alright, um, it's a nice wallet. Um, I might think of uh, figuring a way out to uh, attach a chain to it while destroying it. Because uh, my current wallet has a little nice little chain set up to it. I just clip it to myself and stick it whatever, uh, whatever pocket I need to. And um, practically, put this back in here. Um, keep it, keep people from making off of my wallet so easy. Say if I uh, I get a pair of pa uh, like audio, I get a pair of pants. Sometimes the pockets are too small for big. Uh, say like wallets like these. Uh, the added bonus is uh, with this because uh, you have to stick them. A lot of times, most people have to stick them in their back pockets. This one, what well, my dad told me, this is about an eighty dollar wallet because uh, it's leather and everything, which is kind of nice. But you can see it's a bit of I don't know if you can tell a bit of wear and tear there because I've used it a lot. Because we well, can probably hook your keys and stuff too. Um, this is a better deterrent from keeping thieves uh, from easily it's just. Picking your back pocket, which I've seen videos of uh, someone recording someone uh, in an airport, I think. Guy just walks up, sitting there slipping the wallet out, and makes off the guy's wallet out of his back pocket. Um, I've been rambling on. Most likely going to cut some uh, unimportant bits out of there. Probably. Who knows. Or I just might run this video fully as it is, just cutting out the short, intermittent pieces. Um... Um, I'm not sure what else to say. Shit. Uh, oh, that's that. Yeah, of course, um, uh, I got mostly, uh, I guess a big portion of my, uh, wears, uh, 
what my pants that you saw me uh, wearing was uh, I got for Christmas. Nice pair, fit me nice. Still have to wear a belt, but who gives a damn? Uh, the undershirt here is a thermal shirt, which can help you stay cool during the summer, if I'm correct, and help you keep warm during the winter. Then, if you work in a cold environment like a factory or a chicken factory, like I do, uh, because after lunch break, 30 minutes, that fucker's cold as hell. And a nice long sleeve here, a little button up at the top. Um, all in all, I'd say I kind of made it up in my, in my own opinion. Uh... All right, the main point of this video, because I got sidetracked it real fucking quick, uh, is um, I have relocated where my desktop sits now. I have it where I don't have to sit there and worry uh, about covering my bed, as y'all probably uh, seen in my streams, where me putting the green screen over to cover my bed, because I doubt y'all want to see what my bed looks like. Who gives a fuck about my bed, so I keep that so no one has to look at my dad and my nasty ass bed. I call it nasty ass because that's my own damn opinion, and... It's not really nasty, it's just I leave a lot of clutter. I tend to sleep with electronics a lot of times because I'm a techno freak. I like technology a lot. Uh, I don't know many people can say this, but I was taught by my dad at the age of five how to practically disable, uh, pretty much strip a computer down to its, uh, to its case. Oh shit. That shitty ass lighter I have here. Because my nice big lighter disappeared. Fucking hell, get back in there. There. Hopefully I fixed it. Somewhat. Oh well, fuck it, it works. Um, yeah. Pretty much uh, got my dad's little couch. Still comfortable. Good, uh, set up for uh, when I get this computer fixed up enough to do some videos. Uh, I tried to, um, I got the SAP, SAP Containment Breach game. Uh, um, the only sad part is uh, the equipment I, uh, well, the software I used was from the Xbox app. The, uh, the video looked okay. It was decent considering the game it, it is, which is the game was working wonderfully, except for me getting scared of myself by the uh, by SCP-173. Fuck the SCP. Um, I don't know. I really didn't run any other SCPs besides it. Um, but the audio was crap. It was so garbled up, I couldn't fix it. I had to scrap the video altogether. Now I'm all y'all wondering what the fuck am I smoking? Most y'all that are smokers like me know what this little guy looks like and holy shit it looks blue on my end on the video. Why does it look blue? That's weird. That or just seeing shit. But this is a cigar in a uh, form of a fucking cigarette. I had to realize a second time because uh, if you don't get a good enough amber on it it tends to put itself out, which is nice at times. But, uh, anyway. But, I really don't have much else to show y'all, but uh, when it came to that stuff I had earlier, uh, cause I'm in my twenties, I'm not really expecting to get a whole lot for Christmas anymore, cause I blatantly don't really care f for it anymore as much. But I do appreciate what my family gets me for Christmas, where it be clothes, knives, uh, like, uh, this laptop, I was immediately surprised, I just went into, uh, an errands, uh, with my grandma, I thought she was just looking at stuff for a moment, then when she said, uh, when she said, uh, I wanted to get two of these, I was like, oh, she's getting them for someone, I wasn't sure who at the time, I'd tell, um, she was checking out everything. I was geeking around. My me bro, my brother were looking at a set of speakers and stuff, like one of those DJ party set speakers and stuff. Um, he was getting all giddy about those, which was nice. Um, when we went to check out, she said, uh, "Give one to him." Him. My brother had this surprised look on his face. 
I wish I had recorded it because it would have made great footage to share with friends and family and that of YouTube. <laughs> he was like, what? What? Wait, what? what's going on? <laughs> it was... Whew. Got to be careful. I still have my own box, which when you get these things, they come with one, um, one of these. But they, uh, Aaron's gave us out a second one, which I ain't complaining. <laughs> I didn't realize there was one in here until I opened the box. And all in all, that was nice. Um, we set up a laptop was spread relatively easy. Other than the fact that uh, I, the only thing I found really annoying, which I do not want to say its name, everybody should know if you, especially if you're an Xbox Live player, how annoying it is when, um. Cortana blows up. And I don't know if y'all caught that one because I tried to whisper because I don't really want to. Because I kind of took a risk because the audio is going, most audio that we, and I believe that's being recorded is going through my microphone here. I don't know if it's going, uh, the cord. <sighs> Fuck it, Cortana. It is being picked up by my, um, webcam that y'all see me with right now because it has a built in microphone of its own. Which I kind of handed to Long Tech Day. I got to figure out how to get to it again. Uh, I stumbled upon it. I was able to control how far and zoomed in the camera could be. Um, I haven't figured much after that. Uh, <laughs> it only popped up once, and I haven't figured out how to get it to pop up in. Um, I'm getting off way off subject, but most of y'all might uh, find this rambling might interesting. Some of y'all might find it fucking annoying. Um, I might put a disclaimer up. Who knows? I doubt it. Um, because I don't fully uh, grasp all the understandings of uh, editing. God damn it. Other than to uh, chop bits and pieces out of videos, like um, if y'all watched uh, my Destiny 1 videos uh, with some of my friends I work with, worked with uh, when we were playing on Xbox Live. I've turned two hour videos I've recorded into several episodes, which is annoying because I have to go back to that same video, scroll all the way through to the end of each mission and cut that out. Well, that, hmm, um, oh yeah, no, another thing besides, uh, this, where this little setup I have here, um, I'm currently on my laptop downloading because this is uh, my laptop I'm going to probably start being using for more of my gameplay videos when it comes to simple stuff. Uh, anything that requires high-end stuff, I'm more than likely either going to buy a, a gaming computer or more likely because I have a case for a gaming computer sitting around here somewhere. Uh, if y'all seen uh, Get Good Gaming, if you've seen their towers, I have the exact same case. I was uh, surprised to find out uh, what theirs looked like. I was like, holy shit, I have the same thing. Just uh, I was dumb enough when I was trying to get new desktop and stuff for cheap with uh, how much I get paid and about every week. I was trying to make sure I had money for everything else. You know, really? Case. Ow. Um... Yeah, anything, uh, I'm more likely either gonna probably replace a lot of stuff on this thing that I'm using with my webcam right now, or just add bits and pieces, who knows, uh, replace them in or there, or just build an entirely game desktop of my own, uh, bit by bit. <laughs> it's probably gonna take me a while if I do that, but it'd probably be worth it. I'd probably get someone to help me with that. Because... What's all on the game test? I uh, guess uh, gaming desktop. Uh, can't say a single fucking word, right? Um, there's probably a lot of stuff. Uh, there's more than likely yes. I, there's a lot of stuff I don't know. When it comes to your basic uh, desktop, uh, just hand me a uh, Phillips screwdriver. And I can sh uh, yeah, Phillips screwdriver. That's all I need to strip your computer down to the case. <sighs> 
that's why most of these days uh, now a lot of computers uh, I imagine more even more for game desktops probably have special screws and stuff who knows I've been talking for over 30 minutes uh, on my end but I'm more than likely gonna cut out small bits and pieces who knows um, but for a lot of y'all Xbox players um, let's see here I'm gonna go to pull up the store uh, games I'm getting on here playable games at the moment is uh, I have on through my Xbox I have purchased uh, the unlimited uh, the ultimate edition of uh, Gears War 4 which came with stuff but not every uh, but I am uh, well it's paused at the moment but it's the sucker actually takes up a lot of bit my computer 121 point something gig point six gigs and right now what's currently still installing is um, I recently bought Quantum Break because it was on a sale for about like nine bucks. I don't know if that sale's still going. If all well, y'all seen Quantum Break or uh, played the demo and wanted to purchase it, now is the time to do it on uh, either through uh, Xbox Live. I don't know if they had the sale on there or get get through your computer because you can install it uh, to your Xbox to uh, your desktop. So like as long as you're Laptop is connected with your Microsoft account, which you can use to sign in, sign out, which is a little secure in my opinion. I don't know how to stress this enough, but I really need suggestions because um, I'm still a small time YouTuber. I may have been doing this for about a year. But I still don't know all the ins and outs and everything. And that with uh, YouTube uh, monetization pretty much fucked because uh, anyone that decided to practically um, steal other people's videos and put them on their channel and monetize it, shit. Well, thanks to those guys, uh, if you're a YouTuber like myself and you're small time and don't have that many subscribers, don't have many lifetime views, your monetization has been taken away if you had not discovered that already. If you have, then uh, there's no way. To, then you know the way to get it back is to have a hundred thousand lifetime views, which <laughs> I'm just barely above a tenth. Of, no, bar uh, about barely a hundred of what is needed. But I do think a lot of y'all that's been watching um, some of the videos I did on my phone, especially uh, V Hack XT. I only did one video in that. Um, which I never expected to get that popular. I never expected uh, Android games to uh, have that much popularity when it comes to viewing them, because there's not really much to do. And on some games, especially if you're playing for free and don't feel like spending jack shit on the game, there's not really much to do other than just farm for money. Which could be easy in some cases, sometimes not. But uh, if you are looking for a way to not having to use your computer, or if you don't have a computer and you're just watching through your Xbox or your mobile phone, I would suggest uh, for your Android phone, if you feel like uh, for your YouTube uh, creators, if you're doing games or anything like that, I would suggest um, the it's an app called Game Screen Recorder. It's a free app. Uh, you can use it to stream, record. It makes use of your camera, as y'all can see. As uh, y'all can see in that uh, saw in that video, for the uh, if y'all watched it at all or fully watched it. Um, there's times like uh, some other games. I did uh, a couple videos on Sims. They can get on the phone. Um, don't have the game anymore. Didn't have the memory because I didn't really play it that much, so I just got rid of it. Made way for other games and other stuff, other apps I was using. Um, but it's totally free, it's totally easy to set up. You can practically add any app on your phone to it and record it, which makes it easy if you decide to, if those are apps that are doing uh, product reviews, uh, makes it a little simple. But, um, uh, I don't know of words to say, but it's probably more likely to be time to end the video, but I think I need to 
show off something on my desktop. I if I can find my mouse. I don't like using the touchpad that much. Alright. For y'all, those of y'all that have the Windows 10, if y'all, I don't know if y'all can notice it, but I had the Watchdog like theme background, which for pretty much uh, Windows 10, there's not really much changes to themes other than the background, maybe the color of the border down here, and on Windows, and uh, you know, the windows that you pull up on your desktop. Um, let me set this down. Let's get in my way. But, I'll grab this. Um, as y'all can see, like, pop right up there, which is barely seeable because I can't pull the these too far away because I have my Bluetooth speaker charging. If you see up there, that little thing where it shows the time stuff, if y'all can see it at all, uh, that's a little, it's kind of like a widget for desktops and PCs, uh, laptops and stuff. Um, like you see there where it says my CPU, my RAM over there. I have a little search bar right up there where I can go through Google, uh, YouTube and everything. You can set it up to however you want it to. It can even show uh, your download and upload speech from whatever it, uh, internet provider you have. Um, pretty simple like the picture of... Uh, Claire, right there. Uh, it's pretty much a little photo thing you can stick there. You can even have one like a the the, the dead sex skull that's on her sh uh, that skull that's on her shirt. You can have like an independent thing on there where it's big or small. It's totally free. There are videos uh, on YouTube for it. And I got a new subjective camera. If I move it around too much, um, it's practically all free. Ease this up if you follow instructions. Uh, uh, let's see, what did I use for it? I'll pull up my folder. Not the file explorer. Let's see. And I think it's a documents. It is called Rain Meter. Which, it has its own default skin. Shit. <sighs> Fucking camera. It has its own default um, skin and everything. But, like, I have the Watch Dogs, uh, the first game theme set up for it. I don't know if there's even a Watch Dogs 2 theme out for it yet. There's probably not, because, uh, considering the game has not been around that long enough for people to do much with it. And what the fuck? Oh. Hi there. Random ass, uh, pop up from my reef. Ow. From the mouse. Go away. There we go. Shit. Um. What was I? Yeah, the, um, the rain meter. It's nice. Um, especially if, I don't, if you don't want to look down at the like the bottom right corner of your screen or anything to tell what time it is. At all. And it's a good way to keep up the time, the seconds, and everything. Um, you could also click on the little watchdog symbol that was in blue up there where it said time and date. You click on it. Come on. We're being difficult with me here. Goddamn laptop. You just tap on it, it disappears, it just shows the watchdog symbol and it's uh, light blue. Click it again, it comes back up, gives you the the day which it does in military format, which I well, for me I have it set for my time in the military format, which is when it comes to date is the day, the month, then the year. Which will be Right now, today, it would be 25-12-2017. And for most people that, uh, what most people normally use would be 12-25-2017, which is pretty much the month, day, year. But mine is uh, for day, month, year. <laughs> Your device is disconnect. Pairing. Hello there. Why are you being weird? Yeah, but when it comes to uh, your desktop and laptop that have Bluetooth, they can be a little weird because there's been times for some reason I, my Bluetooth stuff, my Bluetooth drivers disappear. Why are you disconnected? Turn on, damn it. Quit being difficult. Come on. Ah, fuck you. Eh, 
this is a lot of times I really, really hate my Bluetooth. Come on. Go to my settings, goddammit. Quit being such a puss. Yeah, but if you have any like off-brand uh, Bluetooth devices, such as uh, like f for y'all, if y'all do any gaming on your phone with first-person shooters, this is what I would suggest y'all try to get. But I would probably suggest name something name-brand maybe. This is off-brand. I can't remember what the name of it is. I haven't used it in a while. But I did manage to, <laughs> after several tries, to actually try to get it to, to connect to my desktop, well, my laptop. But. Um, and it's keep saying driver error and for all those on the go that want to listen to music, talk to people, and especially during daylight when it's very bright. Uh, these are a pair of Bluetooth uh, shades. They're I don't know if y'all can see it, but right up here is the charger port, and it's about the pretty much the same uh, look as a, a PS3 controller or some of the, uh, the older USB uh, charging cables and stuff. Which is actually kind of convenient for me because I still have a PS3. <laughs> Fuck, I'll have to fix that later. You got a little technology. One step forward, three steps back. Alright, I've been uh, talking for nearly an hour here. It's no longer Christmas Day, which I don't know if my dad's asleep, but I'm going to wish him a happy birthday. Okay. Um, well, it's going to probably take me a minute to edit bits and pieces of me being quiet and uh, tinkering with my fucking laptop. So, with. That uh, with all said, um, I hope y'all enjoyed y'all's Christmas. Uh, um, fuck, I don't know what else to say other than uh, I really hope you. Uh, other than that, and uh, I'll see y'all guys next time I do a video, whenever it may be. Um, I use what little time I have left uh, before I can actually go back to work. To try to make as many videos as I can, and I'm kind of hoping that uh, Quantum Break finishes the demo so I can play it, do Let's Plays, who knows. Hi. Um, I'm still not used to the wallpapers changing on me. Oh, well, that's it. Um, I'll see y'all guys next time. Catch y'all later.